so the bridge is outside of the layout now so the next thing is the track work to run through it the section of track I'm going to build for the bridge will have check rails running right across and extending slightly past the ends of the bridge deck to locate the bridge at the ends I'm going to cut the sleepers short just past the check rails and the running rails on the actual board will extend alongside the check rail fastened to its own end of the sleeper. Here is a closer look at the material I'm using for the sleepers. It's a sandwich of the PCB board which is a fiberglass PCB board and a PVC grey strip which is four millimetres thick then glued together in strips with contact adhesive and now all I have to do is cut them down to sleeper lengths with a junior hacksaw. drawn out where the track will be and the sleepers onto a piece of spare board. I've cut the sleepers already and I've stuck them down with some double sided tape. So this will be the bridge section and then here you have those divided sleepers where the check rails will run onto a centre bit and on the other hand here we'll have the rails coming in that link to the rest of the layout that will be fixed to the board. So this will be the lifting bit, these end bits will be the fixed rails so they should line everything up when the bridge is in place. So I now have the running rails soldered down to the sleepers on the part of the track that will attach to the bridge and lift out. If you notice I have only soldered on the outside because we have yet to put in two check rails here and the check rails will extend onto these centre portion of the sleepers that are separate to give an alignment to each end. Uh, if I'd soldered both sides here then it would make it more secure but it would also mean it was very difficult to get the uh, check rail to sit down flat on the sleepers. So when we put the check rails in we will solder from the other side and we may actually drop a little bit of solder between the two rails as well. Anyway that's for the future. For the minute what I want to do is to solder up the length of running rail that will mate up to the rest of the layout and which will be fastened to the boards. Now I've used some of this paste flux, round gloopy stuff like this. Now the solder I'm using, I'm not sure where this came from but well I've used a pair of snips here, just snip off little bits, push those into place. If I, if I get a roller gauge right at the end of this That can hold that end. And then this end I can hold with the screwdriver. So if we hold this and I go in on the side there. Now you probably can't see that very well and neither can I. I take the iron away and I wait for the solder to go from a shiny liquid surface to a slightly frosted surface. Now I don't know if you can see that but that's now adhering to the rail and the sleeper. Now let's see if we can do the same with this one.
There we go, there's the, sil the solder, and now it, it goes off, it crystallizes out. That's set now. And we're just keeping it until it frosts over, which is taking a little longer this time. There we are, that's gone. Right, put that iron back there. So that's that end done. So now I guess we can put back those. Yo, that's warm. Centre bits of the sleepers. Okay, check rails going in now. Now we really don't want these to stick to the. bits of sleeper that will be fastened to the board. So I'm going to put a little bit of paper in there. There's two at that end. And one split sleeper at that end we don't want to stick to. Now Flux, smear, 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 smear. One check rail in, one to go. Time for a cup of tea.
Well, that works. I have my bridge. I think it's onwards and upwards with some more point making and uh, laying a little more track.